Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh, Professor of Biochemistry and in today's video, we will talk about the transamination, transdeamination and their significance. So to talk about transamination, so what is transamination? By name, it is defining transamination, trans prof amino group. So we are all aware amino acids carry amino group. So the amino acids that means the amino group of from the amino acids will be transported the amino group from amino acid will be transported to other substance so here the acceptor will be keto acid so here to summarize so here one amino acid is there which is carrying amino group so donated to keto acid so once the amino group of uh, amino acid donated okay that donated uh, the donor amino acid converted to keto acid okay the keto acid which accepting the amino group from the donor amino acid it will become new amino acid transamination is nothing but transport of amino group from one amino acid to the other keto acid while accepting the amino group from the amino acid the keto acid will become new amino acid after donating its amino group uh, to keto acid, the donor amino acid will become new keto acid. It's a simple. So here in the diagram we can see here, here pyruvate is a keto acid. So the donor amino acid here is glutamic acid. So you see here the amino group is there which will be given to pyruvate. So pyruvate will be converted to alanine. So that means here keto acid is pyruvate. Once accepting the amino group from the glutamic acid, it will be converted to alanine. Once donating its amino group, this glutamate will be converted to other keto acid that is alpha keto glutarate. So here the enzyme is ALT. The amino group is transferring between pyruvate and alanine. So alanine transaminase. Okay, ALT otherwise known as alanine amino transferase or alanine transaminase it is in short famous as alt the coenzyme mainly required for this transformation okay or transfer is plp pyridoxal phosphate and the reaction is reversible reaction okay so that means pyruvate after accepting uh, amino group it will be converted to alanine and same way again removing uh, amino group this alanine can be converted back to pyruvate. Same way alpha ketoglutarate can accept uh, amino group can form glutamic acid. Once amino group is removed from the glutamic acid can be converted to alpha ketoglutarate. So transamination reactions are reversible. And what is the use? So here the, uh, the main point of uh, transamination is amino acid breakdown. And also this is mainly useful in making of non-essential amino acids. So as I told you the non-essential amino acids are synthesizing in the body. So one such non-essential amino acid is alanine. So through transamination reactions, this alanine will be synthesizing in the body. The main coenzyme as I mentioned, pyridoxal phosphate, it is a B6 water soluble vitamin which is playing major role in transamination reactions. So along with that one more is there AST, aspartate transaminase. Okay. In place of pyruvate here, there is oxaloacetate and it can be converted to aspartic acid. Okay. So here the amino group is transferring between the oxaloacetate and the aspartic acid. So uh, oxaloacetate is a keto acid, aspartic acid is an amino acid. Okay and here the donor of amino group is glutamic acid which is constant for both AST and ALT. ALT and AST. In ALT there is pyruvate keto acid. In AST there is oxaloacetate as keto acid. So that is the difference. Here pyruvate will be converted to alanine and here oxaloacetate is converted to aspartic acid. Okay and these transaminase enzymes specially present in liver and uh, ALT sometimes it is uh, not sometimes it is one of the prominent marker as a liver marker. Okay whenever you want to check for the liver efficiency the parameters to be analyzed is ALT. So clinical significance of transamination. So as I told you, aspartate amino transferase and then alanine amino transferase induced by glucocorticoids which favor gluconeogenesis. And AST is increased in myocardial infraction and ALT in liver diseases. So they both are AST maximum part is present in uh, heart and some part in liver. So 
we can consider AST as a myocardial marker, but nowadays we are not paying attention to AST as a myocardial marker. Okay, but ALT till now it is a prominent marker for liver diseases. Transdeamination. What is transdeamination? It is a coupled reaction. So transamination means what is happening in transamination? There is a transfer of amino group and deamination. There is a removal of amino group. So when these two process coupled, that is known as transdeamination. And this transdeamination specially takes place in liver. Okay. Whereas transamination is happening in all peripheral and all uh, extrahepatic tissues. But deamination is exclusively taking place in liver because deamination means there is a removal of amino group. Okay, and this amino free amino group is nothing but ammonia, so it cannot be freely circulate allowed to freely circulate in the circulation. Right, so that's what so free ammonia is uh, uh, prohibited to be circulated freely in uh, circulation and deamination exclusively taking place in liver because liver is a site for detox that such as urea cycle. So, whatever the removed amino group will be involved in making of urea, which is a soluble product which can easily be excreted in the urine. So, when you see here, the enzyme mainly plays major role in uh, deamination is that is glutamate dehydrogenase. Okay, here the reducing equivalence will be released from the glutamic acid to form alpha ketoglutarate. Okay, so all the amino groups, like you can say, um, suppose. All the removed amino groups will be concentrated and they will be converted into glutamate and these glutamate will be reaching to the liver. In liver with the help of glutamate dehydrogenase it will be converted to alpha ketoglutarate. This alpha ketoglutarate uh, can enter into TCS cycle okay and removed amino group will be involved in production of urea. Okay so that is the advantage of deamination in liver. So that's all about transamination and uh, transdeamination. Thanks for watching. Thank you.